ridiculously tender beef short ribs smothered in a sticky sweet Asian sauce. Wow, this one truly a keeper guys. These are my sticky Asian beef short ribs. So the first thing we want to do is get started on making like the most impactful, savory, sweet, all the things kind of sauce uh, to braise our beef in. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with some hoisin sauce. And then one of my little like secret go-tos or like kind of guilty go-tos for braising liquids is actually tomato ketchup. Now I know like, you know, don't be all highbrow about these things. Tomato ketchup actually has a lot of really good flavors. It's got a lot of umami flavor, uh, which you get from like concentrated tomato plus like the sweet and the tangy. No one needs to know that you've put ketchup in there. They won't know at the end. And then here's another little cheat. I'm just full of all the cheats today. I'm gonna to be using some barbecue sauce. Look, I have my own Asian barbecue sauce, which I love because it has like tangy pickled garlic and Chinese five spice and lots of things. Um, but any kind of barbecue sauce that you have in your area of the world that you love, it's totally great to use. So I'm gonna put some of that in. Some brown sugar, a little bit more sweetness. And then I want some concentrated salty flavors here. So I want some soy sauce, some Chinese five spice, just in case your barbecue sauce doesn't have this one in it. It's a nice little sort of boost of spice flavor. And some garlic. I'll just give that a mix. And then I'm gonna loosen everything up with a little bit of beef stock here. So that's our braising liquid done. Let's now have a look at our beef short ribs. So these are the beef short ribs that I've got today. And these ones are kind of cut into like one, one and a half inch kind of thick uh, little cubes. But um, you can use the, the longer uncut beef short ribs as well. I don't like to use the really thin like Korean barbecue style um, short rib cut for this because it's a little too thin. Um, I want some really like chunky, juicy meat at the end of our dish here. And you really want to salt each piece. Like pay attention, give some love to each little piece here. And then just a little bit of oil and then start searing. So you want to make sure you're getting all the sides here and if I put this guy over, you can see, see that's what I'm putting, that's the kind of color flavor situation that I'm talking about there. Um, that is going to stand us in good stead for an epic braise. And just keep turning these guys over. As much of that brown stuff as you can get as possible is gold. And you know that old thing that, where people are always saying, oh, you know, searing the beef, it's, you know, for a braise, it's all about like sealing in the juices. Total fallacy. Not the case. This is just a pure flavor play. So these guys are looking good. I'm going to start transferring the pieces as they're sort of browned and lovely uh, over into a roasting tin. All right, so we've got our tray of seared beef. Uh, and now I have a pan that's left here with a little bit of fat, um, but also lots of that sort of brown caramelization stuff. And that stuff is flavor as well. We don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that fat off because I don't want all the fat. And then now I'm going to put the heat back on and I'm going to deglaze the pan with this braising liquid that we made. And now you want to get in there with your wooden spoon and really kind of scrape up anything, all that flavor that's on the bottom of the pan there. And I just want this to simmer a couple of minutes so that you know all those flavors kind of mix together and make really good friends. Okay, so that is smelling all kinds of good, garlicky, uh, sweet, and oh, let me just try. Sweet and tangy, mm, so good. All right, I'm gonna pour this out over those beef short ribs. And now you just wanna cover that up with some foil. And now pop it into the oven really low and slow for about three hours until that beef is super soft and tender. All right, house is smelling so ridiculously amazing. Let's go and check out our beef. Oh, that is smelling so good. All right, let's have a look in here. So at this point, our ribs should be beautifully soft and tender. What I want to do is just get them nice and juicy. I might just flip a few of them over as well. And now I want to put these guys back under a really hot grill so that they kind of get a little sticky and all beautifully colored. 
Okay, these are looking so phenomenal. I mean, have a look. I'm just gonna pull one of these out so we can see what's going on here. And literally like it's falling off the bone. Great. And now come and have a look in here. Look at how soft and tender that beef is. Yay. All right, we're not finished yet. I wanna get this out on a plate and then I need to fiddle with that sauce a little bit. So, so I'm just gonna pile these ribs up. So if we come back to the liquid that's here in the bottom of our pan, and this is the problem that you always get with beef short ribs because they are quite fatty, which makes them amazing. Um, but you get a lot of fat sitting on top of your beautiful sticky sauce. So my little hack for getting rid of that oil is to actually use some paper towel. If you put that on top just like this, it'll soak up the oil and then I just grab some tongs and take it off. So it's a little messy, but it works. So now that we've gotten rid of that fat layer, we have uncovered the most delicious, sticky, yummy, sweet little sauce. Let's have a look. Ah, look at that. Yum. All right, I wanna get that all over my short ribs. And then just for a little bit of color and a kick of flavor at the end here, I'm gonna add a little sprinkling of coriander and some very finely sliced chilies. Ah, there you go, guys. Sticky Asian beef short ribs. I am gonna enjoy this one. Let's get in here and have a look. Ah, look at how soft and tender that beef is. That brings me so much joy. Not as joyful as this mouthful is going to be though. Mm, look at that. Wow, that beef just literally melts. It's like eating butter. It just is so soft and luscious. Mm. Not that you would actually eat butter on its own. Well, you could. I mean, I do butter my bread quite heavily, but anyway, whatever. This beef is amazing. Mm.